Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on Cobra Park Farm. You may be thinking why am I playing Cobra Park Farm today? The reason for that is because ETS has just had a fairly large update I believe and it has to update it and I haven't had the time to download it so I can't really do it today. So what I'm doing is Cobra Park Farm today and then in this one's this episode's place which will be on uh, Friday I will be doing ETS, so basically just swapped it all around. We've got the big convoy of tractors coming behind us. I'm just taking all of those back. And I'm also debating whether to change this JCB because there is a new Holland telehandler which was the free DLC and I haven't actually used it yet and I'm actually looking forward to using it. So I may keep this one or I might sell the new Holland combine because we've already got the case combine anyway and I haven't actually used the New Holland Combine since we've bought it. Um, I may well sell that and then just rent the new Telehandler because I do like this JCB and it is very handy to have around this yard um, and if we rent it then obviously we can sort of alternate between the two yards and it would actually be a lot easier in the long run so I think I will keep this JCB loader because I do like it a lot but today we're going to be moving those silage bales and that is why I want the telehandler. This one I just don't find that easy to do bale shifting with so I don't really want to use it. Looks like there's been a bit of a crash on the top road. Our tractor convoy has come to a standstill. I'm assuming it's when I swerved and then they've swerved as well into that car so we better just run up here and see what's going on. Um, we'll put those away though, these tractors yeah, just a bit of a oh, a bit of a Massey Ferguson crash. We will sort that out if we can. Hmm. Okay, we're back on track. Now I want to do these one at a time, putting them away somewhere. We don't really have much space for all of this stuff, but this is the yard where I want to keep it all. So um, this is the tricky part. We're going to keep the bales over where that silage bale already is. Obviously this shed is available, so I will stop the follow me for that Massey Ferguson. We will reverse this into here. We may end up taking something to Yatton Ridge Farm, because there isn't a great deal of space here. I have to tuck right up against the side. So we can get more than one in here. That's the case done. Now for the Massey Ferguson. Which has diff lock and four wheel drive and everything enabled. This one I find... Oh hang on. We need to get that one out of the way. This one I find hard to reverse. Because the axle on the windrower actually turns, or the wheels turn at least. Okay, that is as much as we're going to get into here, which means we have two tractors remaining. We have the JCB, which actually originally came from the Cobra farmyard. That might have to go back there. Um, although, it could go into there, behind us. Now once I'm done faffing about, we'll actually get those bales shifted. I guess the tractor doesn't have to stay there. We may actually use the JCB to move the bales. Uh, I think we will actually. So I'll take the baler off, that can stay there. And finally, the New Holland, which I'm just going to sort of dump in the shed. Just throw it in there. Okay, so that is our tractor messing around, manoeuvring, sorting out job done. We'll now head over to um, wherever I put the yellow trailer. 
I'm guessing, yes I do, that it is at the uh, Yatton Ridge Farm. We'll go and pick that up from the Yatton Ridge Farm. We'll then go and rent the telehandler. Because I want to see how that actually works, that one. I've not driven it before. So, yeah, we'll go and get the bale trailer and then the telehandler with the bale grab because we've done wrap bales. Uh, and then we'll get that field sorted out. We'll move them all, take them to Chantry Yard and take them all off again there. So I'll see you at Yatton Ridge Farm. Here we are. And there is our trailer. We just need to get into position. Probably better if I turn around actually. Our Marshall trailer. A brilliant job for the speedy JCB this leading although um, the speed that I can actually do will depend on how well I stack them which from past experience is not very good so um, we will probably still be going about five miles per hour and our fuel lights just come on 91 litres remaining I have to top it up a bit with some red diesel So I'm going to take this over to the field and then I'll go over to the, it'll actually be the vehicle respawn point to pick up our hired telehandler, it doesn't appear at the store, we should probably put the beacon on. This is where I always get to hear and there's always a car coming from the right, but not today. Must have been the first times ever. Our gateway is here. Somewhere. I always get mixed up. I always think it's that house. It's funny, you have to drive through field 36 to get to 37 and we don't actually own it. So we're just driving through someone's land. I probably should buy that field. Actually, a pretty good field. This. So, as always, I always try and put this on the flat. Otherwise, the bales start to roll away. Although that isn't really the case as much with the wrapped bales because they're the other way around, so they can't really roll. But I'll turn that off there. We now want to start up our new Holland combine, and I'm going to go to the store with this and go and sell it. The only reason I'm having to take it there is to get the maximum amount of money back for it. We could just go straight into the store, the uh, sort of online store thing, and sell it straight away. But then we would lose out on a fair bit of money, which we desperately need, because we're playing on hard and we only have £4,000. And we have no silage in storage to sell, so I do need to get as much money as I possibly can. We don't want to be wasting any. So <laughs> we're going to go at this steady pace of 13 miles per hour. I think I will cut the video here and I'll see you at the store. Hey, one thing's for sure, I'm pretty good at making a traffic jam. Brilliant tailback there. And this is actually too wide for the road, but we have made it. So, uh, over to the sell point, which is just here. Ninety thousand for the combine itself, and almost twenty thousand for the header, which actually does mean we could buy the telehandler. We could buy it and not actually have to rent it. Uh, but is it worth it? That is the question. It's one hundred and five thousand um, pounds. Yes, I will buy it. We seem to be buying everything else, so why not? Uh, I also need to buy the, if I don't have it already, I can't remember, the bale grab. I have it on Woodside, but I'm not sure if I have it on this one. So, 
let's have a look. Oh, I do. I already own the wrapped bale handler. So where could that have got to? Where did I put that? We want uh, tools and trailers. That was it. Um, it's over at Chantry Farm. So kind of on the way back. I'll go and pick it up and I'll have a look at the uh, telehandler first. So this is the first time I've actually bought it and even looked at it. The only time I've seen it before this is in photos on the uh, FS website. Looks pretty good. Let's have a look at it inside. Oh yeah, that's very nice. I think he's good for free. Definitely good for free. Oh, I need to turn that off. Uh, how do you turn it off? I did it all the time. There we go. So, what does it sound like? Pretty good. Yeah, I like that. So I'll go and pick up the bail handler. Can you turn the four-wheel steer off? Because I don't think that's legal, actually, to have that on, in, on a road. I'm not sure if you can turn it off. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hanging around all day. There we go. It's pretty good, and it's actually quite fast. 25 miles per hour. Not bad for a tally handler. I think this should be much easier to use than the JCB for moving bales. Anyway, I'll go and get the bale grab and we'll head over to the field. Okay, we have it on the front. We just need to wait for the traffic and then we'll be able to go to the field. There always seems to be heavy traffic whenever I get to here. Good, so um, I'm going to start loading the trailer. There's 10 bales. I know the trailer can take that easily. It's just whether or not I can arrange it so it can take that, I don't know. Um, I don't want any to fall off. My objective is to, to transport them without any falling off on the route. So bale number one is just here. It'd also be good if I could do it all from in cab. I'm going to load at the back first. Don't know if you're supposed to, but I think I might find that the easiest. I may have to come out of cab just to make sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's times like this when I really wish I had that Satec um, steering wheel. I still don't know properly when it's going to be available to people in the UK. I know it's pre-purchased now for a lot of countries, but not the UK, as far as I'm aware. That's two. might not quite be on enough. Yep, 
Yep, definitely easier this loader. Really like using it. I think the JCB is ideal for jobs like mucking out the cows, feeding the cows, but really not for handling bales, or pallets for that matter. I'd probably put the trailer a bit too close to the hedge as well. Okay, the fifth bale, so we're halfway through when this is on. So far, so good. I'm not going to say it's going well though, because I know what happens if I say that. Everything is going to go badly wrong. But I am quite impressed so far. Okay, so we're going to have to go further afield this time to go and get these bales. There are quite a few down here. These are all the ones that roll into the hedgerow. I had to fish them all out. So four left. I think what it is about the new Holland loader, which makes it easier, is you can't really tilt it any further up. You can't tilt the the bale grab any higher. Where I think you can on the other ones, and that sort of I don't know what it is about it, but it's, it makes it harder for me. Something about it um, where you can actually tilt it higher up. I think you can control it more with this, which does make it easier. Just two left after this one. Which means it will actually almost fill the lower level of the trailer. You can stack above that, like one row above it in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to unload it today because for a start it's like the best load I've ever done. Uh, but also, I might need to take some over to Yatton Ridge Farm, I'm just not sure yet. So, uh, they'll probably be staying on the trailer for today, and then later on in the week when we resume uh, Cobb Park Farm, we will decide what we'll do with them. Quite on. And the final bale. We're going to get that from the bottom.
I've yet to do a field where we can actually fully laden one of these trailers, like a, a, a double layer of bales, so I can put the top layer on as well. I've never done that. I really want to. It's just it takes a long time to do. But that is all of our bales. And I can't believe that I've actually managed to stack them because I'm usually really bad. It's not perfect, and I'm sure a lot of other people could do better, but for my standards, that is pretty okay. Um, I'll take these back now. I probably should take the um, loader back as well. I don't know if it will follow me because the JCB loader has a tendency to go swerving to the side and then crash into the hedge, which is a bit weird. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Oh, don't crash into my trailer. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting paranoid now because of that follow me. He always seems to crash into me. I'm hoping it would just follow me properly without crashing, but you know what these things are like. If I had done 12 bales, that would have filled the lower level. Yeah, it seems to be following me okay. around here before it comes and crashes into me. Well, they seem to be staying on. Looks like I might have met my objective. Continue down the road, and I'll see you at Chantry Farm. So as they're wrapped bales, and they're silage bales anyway, it wouldn't matter if they were out in the rain. However, I will reverse them into the shed. This trailer isn't very easy to turn very tight though. The tractor's wheel tends to hit the drawbar. And there is another bale back there, so I can't go too far. But I think for today, that is a job well done. Of course, you've probably got your own opinion on that, but for me, I think that is okay. Where is my telehandler? We're going to find it in a ditch. Uh, not far off. Oh, it's trying to free itself. It's actually managed it. Although it's swerving. What's it doing? I think we'll drive it ourselves. It's probably easier. I need to find a place for this, I don't know where to put it. We may be unloading it next time, so I'll just put it over here. So, there we go. This needs to be sold as well. That is another job for another video. Thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and there will be more to come later on this week. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.